Hello there, my name is David Wright and today I'm going to be doing a video blog. I'll probably be doing a few of these in the coming months because I'm doing part of this uh, media course and they're always saying if you want to get ahead you should be doing your own sort of camera work. So I'm going to be doing these video blogs and I'm going to be talking about uh, things that have been happening in the world and you know I'll do various things, I'll talk about maybe latest news reports, uh, mainly in the world of film and television because as you can see I'm quite a film fan. I will probably might go through this DVD collection at some point, if you think. Uh, if you like these videos, give them a thumbs up, uh, comment below, see what you think, and see what you think of any of the cues and opinions that I have on certain other topics. Uh, it's been a while since I've done anything for YouTube. I used to do these Doctor Who figure adventures uh, when I was like in high school, but I stopped doing those because it sort of started to get boring and we didn't have the sort of the technology which has which makes stop motion look really smooth compared to other like big dog big people like that one March. You know, because he's really professional about it and I don't have that much when I have his uh movie maker. Uh but the first thing I'll probably talk today is the very sad news about the death of Harold Ramis. Or as you might know him as Egon, Dr. Egon Spengler from Ghostbusters. He's a big time, he was a very big director back in the 80s. Uh, it's very sad to hear about his death. I heard about him Monday whenever I got home uh, from about 10 times on my iPod. I was looking up Facebook. I discovered about it. It's this rare uh, disease. I'm not sure what it was. It was like something like crying up blood, but it's very sad. Um, and I'm sure we're all going to feel the loss and apparently they're, they're still going through with Ghostbusters 3 which I can't believe they're doing because now that Hal Reigns is dead and Bill Murray doesn't want to do it so why is Dan Aykroyd still trying to go through with it because apparently it's going to be like these a new generation of Ghostbusters and I don't know anything about that and I don't think Rick Moranis wants to do it either but he ha I think he has expressed slight interest, but he's one of those people that he needs to have concrete evidence and work, like, something shown in front of him to explain it to him. But, you know, if you have it, if you don't know much about Harold Ramis, check him out. He's done a lot of fun stuff. He's done two Ghostbusters movies. And he's done films like National Lampoon's Animal House, National Lampoon's Vacation, Caddyshack, and even had a cameo in The Cup where he played. Seth Rogen's father, which is a, which was a funny cameo on that. And he was also in it. He also directed in I think he starred in the movie Stripes, and he directed and featured in a cameo of Groundhog Day, which is another great film. There are a few films, a few of these films that I would like to see. Today, a couple about a month ago, I could have watched this. Of films I'd like to see, and National Lampoon's Vacation, Animal House, and Stripes were all on them. Oh, and so was Caddyshack. But you know, he is a brilliant man. He, is, he was very funny, and you might know him his slightly snorty tone. If you would put it like that, I'm not sure. But we're all deeply saddened about his death, and we don't know what's going to happen much with everything else. The, I heard Barack Obama is quite touched about it. Apparently, he's a fan of his films. I heard that on IMDb somewhere. But, you know, it's touched me deep. It touched me deeply because I grew up watching Ghostbusters, even though it terrified me when I was a kid. But I'm okay with it now because I just think it's funny. Uh, yeah. Uh, another thing I'd like to talk about is this new show on BBC Two called Inside Number Nine. And it stars uh, Rhys Shear Smith and Steve Pemberton. Which is it's sort of like an anthology series. You know, if you've ever watched The Twilight Zone or Tales of the Unexpected, which they keep describing it as. Basically, it's stor like simultaneous stories that happen over the six weeks, and it's different things. Uh, but the, the only thing that links them is they all happen behind number nine houses. The first episode was a mansion. The second episode was... was like a big... big Fancy house, I kind of don't know what you call it. Uh, the third episode was a, just a flat, and the, the latest episode, the fourth, 
as they just took place in the bungalow. Uh, but they are weird shows. I'm a big fan of The League of Gentlemen and Psychobell, which they Stephen Reese both starred in. I was very excited to hear about this show, and it's one of those shows that whenever it ends, I'm just like, no, don't end there. Why? Because uh, because I'm always I've always been a huge fan of I'm a huge fan of the show now. I think it's absolutely amazing. And one thing that they've done, which is slightly odd, is Reese Shearsmith wasn't in the latest episode, which I thought was a little bit surprising because they wrote the series and they star in the series. And it's the first time where it's just an episode where the main character is Steve. Which is an interesting idea. But it's certainly a different idea. And uh, they might do... They might switch a little bit away a bit because the first three episodes they both start in them. Maybe just an idea. Maybe they just thought, hey, why don't you just be in it? And we'll see what happens with there. Maybe the next episode it might just be Reese. But it is a weird show. It's a dark comedy. It's very dark. It's got a lot of weird dark jokes. And not a single episode goes by without somebody dying. Which is interesting because that's their sense of humour. I've heard that they tried to write an ordinary sitcom with just, you know, like, blah, 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 happy laughs. But they always feel like there was something missing. Sorry, I have a bad throat. Uh... Yeah, they, they just thought there was something missing with it on Inside Number 9 is a fantastic show. Definitely check it out if you haven't seen it. It's on BBC Two um, on Wednesday nights at 12 past 11. The first episode was on at 10 o'clock and then it was moved back, which I hate when they do. Because, I don't know if you remember this, on Tuesday nights they used to show the Cleveland show No Feelings, Luxury Comedy and Bob's Burgers. And Bob's Burgers was, a favor was another favourite show of mine. It started at maybe, it was, at first it was to half ten and then it was pushed back to midnight. Which is ridiculous because I was at high school and it was on. They don't sell the DVDs over here and it was a really great show that I love to watch. Which I probably won't ever get to watch again because they don't play anymore. Which is really annoying. Uh, but I hope it does well for them because a lot of people worried about the anthology series. Because I think it's basically a dead art because there hasn't been much anthology series in recent years. Because people are more interested in continuing stories, that's why shows like The Walking Dead and Breaking Bad and True Blood and all of them were so popular because it's one continuous story spread over how many episodes. I hope it does work out for them. I've heard there's going to be a second series already, which is will start filming in October, I think. So it just proves that the BBC has high hopes for it and they hope that. That'll be just popular with the critics because it's probably it's one of those shows that probably will get critical acclaim and might possibly become a cult show, which I don't think anybody really wants because I think Psychedel would be considered a cult show because it's cancelled after two series and I heard they were deeply disappointed about that. My voice keeps breaking. Uh, but anyways, that that's my first video blog, so you tell me what you think about it, if there's anything you want me to improve. I just picked this thing because it sort of shows off myself because I watch a lot of video blogs. I'm usually sitting in some, sitting in front of something like, like this, like Cool Ditter. He does a lot of this type of thing. But, hope you enjoyed it guys, uh, in the future I might be doing other things like maybe DVD updates, film reviews, I might do a tour of the room, because there's a lot of odd stuff in here. DVD collection videos. Top 10s, maybe. But that's all in the future to come. This is my first one. It's just a little tester. But thanks for listening, guys, and I'll see you all there. Bye.